this is Sim Racing Corner and this is my first look at the Arcdesk Mini from Willow Gear. There is a link in the description to their website. I will review this very soon um, as this is just my first look. I literally just finished building it. So I'm going to show you what this does right away. We have a sliding desktop for our mouse and keyboard. So yeah, full size keyboard goes fine there, mouse pad um, and it is a perfectly usable space for work and play. When you want to get to your sim racing wheel here, uh, we move the shelf back, it's on, on a couple of sliders there, and we have this metal shelf which is uh, connected by magnets. We just grab it and pull it up into place and it then attaches via a couple of strong catches. And you have a very solid shelf here for your wheel. Um, or you could, if you're into flight sims, that would be perfectly good to hold that sort of gear as well, or a big fighting stick. And um, yeah, and here we go, we are ready to get into some racing games. And we have a very steady, solid structure, which is absolutely perfect for a bit of racing. Uh, when we're finished, release the catches, it's that simple. Back to the magnets on there pull the shelf out, mouse and keyboard on here, and you can get back to what you're doing. Um, there's plenty of leg room as well, so I'll show you that. So you're not gonna kick whatever's on, on attached to the shelf without raising your legs pretty high. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of uh, freedom for your legs, there's no problem there. And again, just show you again, what I want to play about gaming. There you go, instant, literally takes a second. Um, so yeah, it's really convenient. It's a very clever uh, mechanism. Um, it's not the most cheapest desk you can buy, but it is a very specific, um, you know, it serves a very specific purpose, a very specialist item. Made to a very good standard, it is very solid. You see that, it's, a, it's just a solid structure here. Uh, and perfectly suited for um, this wheel. So yeah, it's kind of nice that it, is, uh, it does exactly what it needs to do. And uh, yeah, very, very convenient. Um, so it is pre-drilled, and if I just swing this shelf here, you can see a bunch of drill holes there. So that's pre-drilled uh, on either side, so it is amb ambidextrous. I, I, I kind of think that those drill, some of these drill holes are there to line up to, uh, for shifters. Um, so I do know it's pre-drilled for Logitech wheel uh, wheelbases, so I'm assuming it should line up to the Logitech shifter as well. Um, this is a... Thrustmaster TX wheelbase, and I'm actually only connecting it via the plastic clamp at the moment. It just holds sufficiently, but it is also there is a couple of holes underneath for uh, to hard mount this as well. I have checked them; they do line up, um, so that works. So Thrustmaster Logitech, you'll be fine with. Don't know about Fanatec, if I'm perfectly honest, um, but if it came to that, you could certainly you know drill extra holes if you needed it. Uh, maybe I'll, if I can find out for the review, maybe I'll be able to find out exactly what they're all drilled for. Um, so the instructions um, weren't the easiest to follow because they are, unfortunately, in um, Japanese. However, it is well illustrated. So I just followed the pictures and um, I didn't have too many problems, if I'm, if I'm honest about that. Uh, I did come across this step, which was a little bit more, I, I didn't understand what I was supposed to be, I was supposed to be looking at at this point because um, I'm not sure what that part was, but it, I, I, I realized in the end, it was just basically putting this shelf on. Um, because the way you put this together, you, you start off um, upside down, and then eventually you have to flip it up to put the shelf on because it's, uh, there's, there's some tabs underneath which you, you push this onto and then screw underneath, and then you have to flip it again to attach this one. So it's not too difficult. I did it by myself. It wasn't the worst thing in the world, but ideally a couple of people would make it, you know, would make it a lot easier. But it's okay, the instructions, if you just follow the pictures, you'll get there, because it's not the most complicated thing in the world. Um, also, you get um, this little box of braces here, and this is for uh, holding down a variety of different bits of hardware to this shelf. I'm not sure how it works completely if I'm perfectly honest, but um, I'm sure it makes sense if you actually have the appropriate gaming hardware to use those braces. It is covered 
briefly um, in the in the man manual here, but it's not the. Uh, you might be able to see that. Obviously, there's lots of words there which I don't understand. But yeah, it does show a picture there. So it's, it's obviously describing something of how we could use those. Uh, but for a sim racing setup, you just hard mount, you know, directly underneath, and you should be just fine. So there you go, guys. Um, yeah, like I said, I'll just show you one more go on this. Because that's the interesting thing, isn't it? Not me wobbling on. Yeah, it's, that's how easy and quick it is. Yeah, there you go. The RDS Mini from Willow Gear. Um, I do know they do have a, uh, they have a larger one and they also are currently in production of a slightly smaller version of this desk as well. So yes, if this is a bit small for you, what you want, then they do have a bigger version. And if you want something even you know, more slimline than this, that will exist as well. So yeah, check out their website and also uh, check out my review when it comes out. Um, as I said, I'll drop a link in the description if it's already done. But um, I'll start working on that very soon. And uh, yeah, so uh, make sure you uh, stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and um, happy simming and bye bye.